right, today we're on the second video. As I promised, I'm sorry it took so long. I've just been busy. Uh, but anyhow, the second video, what we want to do is we want to be able to, this is, if you remember, this is our static hard-coded menu that we created in our WordPress theme. Static sidebar, or hard-coded, I should say, sidebar, hard-coded footer. Well, in this thing, uh, this video, uh, we're going to take our menu and make it the WordPress dynamic menu, and we're going to take our sidebar and make it a widgetized sidebar so we can take further advantage of WordPress. If you did not watch the first video, I recommend you watch the first video where we dissected this HTML5 template and turned it into a WordPress theme. However, if you don't want to do that, I am going to zip up the files from the last video and leave you a link in the bottom to grab them so you can start with us right where we're at, right at this moment in this theme. Uh, it's completely up to you. But anyhow, first thing we want to do is we want to take this menu here and get rid of it, right? And we want to turn it into a dynamic WordPress menu. And I switched over to Dreamweaver for this video just to make things a little faster for me. So first thing I want to do is I want to go in the header. I want to find where the menu's at, which you see I've already commented it. My nav area, this is it. And I'm going to take everything in between my two nav tags and I'm going to comment them out. So that is the existing menu, right? Go ahead and comment those out. Do a refresh here and it should be gone. And it is. Alright, first thing we need to do, we need to register a menu in our functions PHP. So I'm going to grab a little bit of code here. And this is it right here. It's basically just going to register a menu. We're going to call it the primary menu. And WordPress is going to know all about this menu. All we got to do is put the code in and it will do everything else for us. So let's go to functions PHP. Let's do a save. Let's do a refresh here. And you will see menus has now showed up in our appearance menu. So we're going there. I added a few pages already getting ready for this uh, video. And I also named it Top Nav. Uh, it's still there. I'm going to delete this so you can go step by step with what you will need to do where you're at. So we're going to delete that. Oh, there we go. And we're going to create a new menu. And we'll call this top nav. And it's going to be our primary. We're going to manage locations here. You can manage it here where it's already checked, or you can manage it here. You know, you'll be selected there. So we're going to leave that as is. And now when we go back to the menus. Uh, we have the top nav menu. We're going to add all this stuff. This is, I'm just going to grab everything. And put it in my menu. And let's save it. Let's refresh. And you'll notice there's nothing there, right? That's because we have not added the menu tag to our theme yet. So that's the next step. Next step is add this menu tag. You remember we called it the primary menu. WordPress is going to know where it's at. We're just going to stick this right where we commented out all of our navigation stuff in the header. So I'm going to go just right above this. Put that right there. Save it. Do a refresh. And there it is. You see everything's out of whack, right? Well, it's a dynamic menu, right? So we can go back here. We can do a drag. We'll drag this here. Uh, let's see. We want to do home. About. About. And we'll do services. Let's get blog down here, down at the bottom there. It's aggravating sometimes. About. Serv services, contact, the blog, and sample page, page five. 
It's just pages I was playing with. We're going to save that. Let's go back to the front. Let's do a refresh. Home. There's our home page. And there's our blog page, right? And obviously I need to create me some blogs. Got the wrong. Let me see what we got going on here. Post. Just make post three. Something's going on here. I'm just doing a real quick check. be on home page our home page is supposed to be our blog roll so let's go to, to uh, settings reading all right let's go to permalinks let's resave the permalinks and let's refresh and it's still not working. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. All right, I had a little issue with my home page. I wanted it to be in my blog roll, so I'm going to go back to the menu. And I want to edit the link in here. Actually, I'm just going to remove that. And we're going to stick a home page. Custom link. Add the menu. Call it. There we go. And let's move that up there. Save the menu. It'll refresh. Hit the home button. Oh, I have to go back and fix that in my reading, don't I? Reading. Save that. Do a refresh. And there we go. Where am I? There we go. That's what I wanted. A little detour there. But anyhow, let's go and let's get our sidebar. If you remember, we got the hard coded sidebar here. And if we go look at it, you'll see that's what it is right there. So what I want to do is I want to take everything out of my sidebar. I'm just going to comment it out. Save it. And you'll notice there's nothing there. It's because, like you probably guessed, we need to add some code to our functions PHP. So let's go check out the code for it. What we're going to do is we're going to register a sidebar. We're going to call this sidebar. It's going to be the name of it. And I also included a link up here where y'all can go look and see how this is actually done. And then we're, at the end, we're going to add the action. We're going to add the widget. So let's go into sidebar. Or let's go into functions PHP and add that code. Let's save it. Now if we go do a refresh here, you'll see widgets show up in our appearance menu. I'm going to go ahead and delete this so we can start from scratch. Stuff I was playing with. All right. You'll see a sidebar widget area now shows up. Let's go ahead and throw the menu or calendar in there. And save. Go back to the front page. Let's make sure I save that. And you'll notice that nothing happens. And it's because we haven't added the widget area to our theme yet. So we want to go grab a little code. It basically says we're going to start off, we're going to check, make sure that there's a widget there to work with. If there's not, it says if it's not active, 
return nothing. But if it is, this is what's going to it's going to bring out the widget. So let's go ahead and put that in. We actually needed to comment out all this. From a side to a side, we'll comment it out. And we're going to start this off with a PHP call here. And something went, went wrong here. There we go. I didn't have a code in there. That's what it was. So we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to do a refresh. And you'll see our calendar is way down here. It kind of throws everything off whack. And that's because we have our own styles, right? This site was set up. We had our own HTML. We had our own styles already. So what we need to do is we need to go look at the original code. You'll see that WordPress needs the class widget area to do what it does. But you can take the other classes that were in the original code and put it up there. Save it do a refresh and there you go of course you could go in and take your code here let's just do this if you remember if you hopefully remembered how it looks I'm going to show you real quick we will remove that calendar let's delete that let's put a text widget in that code in there save it real quick do a refresh and there it is it's looking just like the original correct so that's all there is to it we because the footer widgets are a little more complicated I'm gonna save that for another video if you like this video how about giving me a like a share uh, or a comment any of the three or all of the three thank you and you have a good day